Okay, so for this problem, I have cosine of x plus sine of x times tangent of x equals 2. And for a problem like this, I'm looking at it, I'm saying, holy crap, I have three different functions, so I can't even combine my x. I can't apply factor and I can't isolate the variable. You know, what can I do? What can I possibly do? What's going to be the first step? And what I notice is I have sine of x times tangent of x. Well, let's try to maybe use our trigonometric identities to combine these and see maybe what's going to happen. So if I convert my tangent to sine squared over cosine squared by using the quotient identity, I have cosine of x plus sine of x over 1 times sine of x over cosine of x equals 1. Now I can multiply those out, so I get cosine of x plus sine squared of x over cosine of x equals 1. Now, I start seeing I'm getting somewhere because I like when I have sine squared of x because I know that I can start using Pythagorean identities, right? So let's go ahead and combine these two terms together. So if I put this over 1, to combine my two terms, I'm going to have to multiply the cosine of x on the top and the bottom, leaving me with cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x all over cosine of x equals 1. Well, cosine of squared of x plus sine squared of x is going to equal 1 over cosine of x equals 1. Equals, not 1, that all equals 2. Sorry. So if 1 over cosine of x equals 2, then I can say that cosine of x equals 1 half. So now to find the values of when cosine x equals 1 half, I go ahead and take a look at my nice, lovely unit circle. And I say cosine of x equals 1 half at this angle and at that angle. Well, this angle is pi thirds, and this angle is 5 pi over 3. So I can say x equals pi thirds, and x equals 5 pi thirds. But I'm asked to find all of the solutions. So not just pi thirds, but when I go around my solution, um, again, by using a coterminal angle. And um, then, not just 5 pi over 3, but when I go over again by using my coterminal angles. So to get to that next angle, I have to add a revolution of 2 pi. So I'm going to add 2 pi plus 2 pi. And however, I don't know how many times I can keep on doing this because remember, the cosine function goes infinitely in the positive and negative direction. So I'm going to say it's going to be positive 2 pi n and positive 2 pi n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve by combining, um, combining your functions with trigonometric identities. Thanks.